Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 13 of Civilization 6 as the Aztecs. In the last video, we defeated France. I did notice though, just looking at the scores, that Brazil is actually very close to a religious victory. In fact, I'm the only nation left, the only civilization left that they need to convert in order to get a victory. Now, I'm not going to allow that to happen, of course. I don't have my own religion. My... Uh, civilization is at actually has Rome's religion. That's not too bad, though, because I can still actually use um, use Rome's apostles, the Confucianism apostles, to fight off the theological units of Brazil. He's denouncing me anyway. I do intend to go to war with him. I was kind of hoping that we'd have some battleships, because what we need to be able to do is attack him via sea. It's going to be very, very difficult to get to Rio... Um, via land. We really need to have a little bit of a look around there. But there's steam power done. I think we need either of those. Where did you come from? You just like randomly spawned. So let's have a look at a few things. Infantry gets a promotion. Let's give you battle cry. Choose a new research. Well, electricity would be useful for power plants, submarines... That said, getting machine guns would be good. Flight would also be good as well. But we'd need oil for that. Let's go for electricity. And we might as well get Scorched Earth. Repair the monument. Send an envoy. Already the Stockholm... Uh, Suzerain of Stockholm. But let's get the full science bonus. Promotions on all of our apostles. Basically, we want any ones that give us advantages in theological combat more than anything. In fact, what have we got here? Oh, just bed religion. Yeah, okay. Um, relics. I'd sooner have the extra damage in theological combat. But you don't always get the promotions you want. In fact, you never get the promotions you want. So we've got coal there. And we've got coal there. So we do have two sources of coal. Pedro's finished Ruhr Valley. Well, that's upsetting. I do want Ruhr Valley, so we will get it. So let's go ahead and can't purchase a builder because there's an apostle in the city. Same goes there. We do have a builder up here, actually, just sitting around doing nothing. So you're going to come down there and get that coal. Where is the other one? The other one's here. Uh, we've got a builder in this city as well. Fantastic. Didn't even need to get builders. Now, you were going over here to clear a barbarian camp, but it looks like Amsterdam's sorted that out for you so let's get you back down here and i guess you guys are probably just going to sit around for a while there's not really much you can do we will need to have a uh what are you doing you won't even give me anything in return no go away you don't even have your own capital. I don't even need to go to war with you. But yes, Brazil is going to be problematic if they start trying to spread their religion to us. So we have to be careful of that. And yeah, I don't know where this barbarian has come from, where the camp is. You are in range. And in fact, I'm going to go and send this um, unit over here, see if we can find the camp. It might be on that tile, but we should be able to see it if it is. Uh, let's get the factory over there. Again, we've got a barbarian camp here as well now that nobody's really dealing with. We haven't really got a unit nearby. Can't even upgrade that knight to anything useful. City-state might deal with it again, though. It's quite possible. Now, you've not got a lot going on here, have you? Which is a shame. So you're probably going to need some production... Can't get a bonus unless we buy a tile. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess we're going to repair the water mill in Paris. And pretty much just put everybody on to... Why did I just do that? That was the wrong button. I thought that was the promotion button. Oh, well. Stuffing things up royally. So let's just make sure we've got a lot of these guys over on the west coast in case... Uh, Brazil tries to get any units in so we can go and respond to them quickly. 
Now, what I'd still like to do is get a missionary or two sent down to the rest of my cities. So, Antium. Let's go ahead here and buy a missionary. We'll send them down on the next turn. You can sort of stay around here as well. Just sit on the holy site, actually. We're at our maximum number of trade routes. We've got a decent amount of gold, so we'll be able to buy a couple of battleships. Amsterdam's still very much on our side. Now, where's that other camp? It's all the way over there. We might be able to get to it. I think the rest of you guys are just going to heal up. Yep, there is a... Is there a camp there? It's like barbarians have spawned. It looks like they're in a camp, but there's no camp that I can actually see. Maybe it's just the graphics screwing up, which is a possibility. Okay, get the coal. And how about the other guy? Is he on the coal yet? He is one tile away. He's got to get it on the next turn. So we're pretty much going to put all of these apostles to sleep. But we want to get the missionary down here. We will need another one. In fact, we'll send the Apostle down there as well. That is the one I already used to charge on. So let's go ahead and just buy more Apostles. And all of the rest of them are going to sleep. Of course, this will be a lot easier once um, we go to war with Brazil, because we can just start killing all of these theological units, and that'll help out. Yeah, so we know about the Barbarians. That is fine. Let's get you over here. It'll take a while, but we want to clear that camp out. So we're not actually at war with anybody at the moment. Is that Barbarians there? It is. Barbarian Pikeman in Buenos Aires. Very interesting. Right, first things first. Let's get you killed off. That promotion is going to be an Apostle. And again, not all that useful, really. Lots of stuff to repair still. I think we'll get the holy site repaired. It's the wrong religion at the moment, but it might be useful later on. Uh, Leventa has a mission for us, and it's 13 gold. So sure, let's go ahead and trade with Leventa. We will be going past that barbarian camp, though, so we do definitely want to get that cleared out. Uh, Geneva is also very good money, so let's keep that going. Do we have any other uses for you? Well, yeah, sure. You could go ahead and get that fish. Now, speaking of builders. That means we can now get battleships. How much are battleships? 1,390 gold. Do we have any more coastal cities where we could get battleships? Paris. So we can go and have a little bit of an explore and see if we can find where Rio's borders are. Make sure we can get to him with our ships. We should be able to. But of course we would like to check. I'd be very disappointed if we suddenly find out we can't get around that side of the landmass. But I think we can. It'd be also nice if uh, Mbanza Congo is coastal as well. Because if we can take both capitals from him. That'll make life a lot easier for us. So, let's just get this battleship that's in Paris. Well, there's his borders. We can definitely uh, get to Rio. So, that's not a problem. So, it's very, very difficult to tell the difference looking at the borders between Arabia and Brazil. So, Brazil is yellow and green. And, and Well, green and yellow. And Arabia is yellow and green. But this is definitely Arabia. Because the yellow's on the outside. Rome, you could get a shipyard. I'm not necessarily sure that you need to. Do you have fresh water? Yes, you are on a river. That's fine then. Anything else you build is not going to be particularly useful. Oxford University would take forever. You go and work on the other spy then. 
Uh, let's go and... Well, Ancient Walls, we might as well. It's five turns before we start worrying about repairing stuff. I still think that's the Barbarian Camp, so we'll get that on the next turn. Another battleship over here. And we'll get the other one from France, from Paris even, because, you know, we are closest over there. So there's another battleship. And, uh, yeah, let's get you sort of down here as well. So mission is almost in place. Forbidden City has been built by somebody who wasn't me. You're, you're well, uh, you would be next, but... It's going to be Brazil next, because Brazil's the one who is in with a chance of uh, getting a win at this point. But you won't be long before you, you go, I assure you of that, Arabia. Now, Forbidden City, was that the one we were building as the animation gets stuck in a glitched loop again? Come on, Firaxis, this is basic stuff. Should be able to fix that. There's Scorched Earth done. We don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, let's go into Naval Tradition. Great person. We can get a great merchant. Grants two copies of jeans. Well, excellent. And that'll help with the, the old happiness. Send envoys. How many would we need to send to Geneva? Wow, quite a lot. There's a lot of people influencing Geneva. It's actually Congo. Well, nobody at the moment. But Congo's probably the closest. We'd have to put a lot in there to get Geneva. What did Geneva even give? I don't remember. Trade routes to foreign cities. Uh, extra gold. That would be good. But who else would we like to get? Any of them allied with Brazil? No. Well. Let's start competing with Buenos Aires then. Get some production in our... Yeah, we can get into Rio, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, we we'll try and get some production in our um, districts. What are you doing here? Do, did I pick up open borders with Arabia for some reason? I must have done. Oh, well, it's not too much of a problem. Right. Apparently that was a barbarian camp that just wasn't showing up. Interesting. So let's move you over there. Units needing orders. Yeah, apostles, let's get you down here. You're going to try and spread our religion. Fishing boats there, please. Can't afford another battleship yet. We need to make sure this battleship can get into Brazil's territory. Obviously, we can, we can sail down here, so we can get to Rio. We'll need some sort of melee ship in order to be able to take the city. So what's the next melee ship? Now, it's not going to be a privateer because privateers are now ranged. It'll probably be an ironclad, to be honest. Or a destroyer. Destroyers melee. Build an airstrip. What have we got queued up? Let's queue that up anyway. Oh, there's a lot of text to get up to combined arms. We don't need a strong ship. We just need a ship that is capable of taking the city, really. So, oh, we can get ironclads. Just don't have enough gold. Need 1,230, which we'll have in a couple of turns, so that'll be all right. Trade route can go to Geneva. It's the same gold as Amsterdam, but we get science from it as well. Great merchants. Let's have those jeans. Obviously, one of those we could sell to somebody because uh, we know nobody else is going to have it. And there's only we might as well only have one copy. We don't benefit from having a second. Yeah, let's keep moving you guys down. Now then, we do have these um, barbarians here. There's pikemen coming in. Looks like Geneva. No, Stockholm. Stockholm are trying to get rid of that camp. They've just killed a scout. Uh, looks like the scout was the only unit left. I suppose they... Um, they'd taken the pikemen out to attack my field cannon, which was a little bit silly. And left the camp unattended. Well, I say unattended. It did have a scout in it, which soon and easily got killed. So we still don't know where Mbanza Congo is. 
Now, how? what's your military strength? Um, domination. We need overall, don't we? So, we are leading Brazil. Military strength, 391. Our military strength is over 1,000. Yeah, so we've definitely got the biggest military strength. In fact, in second place for military strength is actually um, Arabia. Arabia's got quite a big military, apparently. I'm almost tempted to go and get this war started. We do have a CB, so let's go ahead and declare that war. We still need to get a melee unit, but that'll be alright. So what we're going to do for a, a few turns is just sit back and see if he's got anything that he wants to uh, send towards me. Okay, that was a weird sound effect. Wasn't expecting that. Somebody must have just subscribed to me or something. It's not supposed to do that when I'm just recording. It's a little bit weird. So let us go and... Um, what have we got here? Another apostle. Yeah, we should be moving you down. Because we want to try and flip these cities over. So we can move into position. We can get into his borders. Do you want to stay out of the city's bombard range at the moment? I'm just trying to see if there's anything there that um, is going to attack us or anything that I can attack. And we also want to get around with this other sh uh, battleship, but... We'll have to wait on that one. So it won't be long before we can afford a melee um, ship. So yeah, you just skip your turn. See if he sends anything out towards you. So let's try and flip these cities over if we can. Not on this turn though. Ah, he does actually have a... Uh, what is this thing? Some sort of ship. Is not a provocation to war. Well, we do have um, city walls. So we will just fire at that ship. He may try and... Um... Let's get you in there and upgrade. Do I want to upgrade you? It's 290 gold. We've got to do it. Because if we keep you in there and garrisoned, it'll give us a little bit of extra... See, he's pillaging stuff. He's pillaged the crabs. So that's annoying, but I don't think we have to worry about him too much. So let's go on to mercantilism. Texacoco, what are we going to do here? The walls probably aren't all that important now. Entertainment complex could be useful. We are going to be taking a lot of cities, so anything that takes some of the pressure off us there is useful. Gives us another boost to our production. Right, so let's move in around here. If you're going to start um, being annoying. Um, right, so we don't want to be there because we're in range of two cities. Wow, this is barely going to be any damage at all. We do 12 damage to defences, but not enough. So we probably need to get some more battleships out. In the meantime, you guys keep trying to flip. Now, we could potentially try and get some artillery over there. But there's so much... Um, let's see. This is planes. And that's a hill. So we wouldn't be able to really fire at it from land. Not easily, anyway. So that plan's kind of out of the window. Now you want to move up here, really. We can possibly shoot at that ship. If he's going to keep pillaging my improvements. Now Brazil doesn't necessarily have much of a military, but that doesn't mean to say that his, uh, his city is going to be easy to take. And look how much damage he's already done to us already. Uh, you want the coal. I'm not giving you my coal. I need that. Well, no, go away then. But definitely not giving you my coal. You have a very powerful uh, military as it is. So that battleship just took a lot of damage from that. So we are going to pull back with that battleship. 
going to attack with this one. And we're going to move in and attack with this one. You need to come back to my own territory to heal up, really. We might need to wait until we get flight to make this really work. I hope we don't. Let's go for another stock exchange. We'll get that money going. Ah, we've gotten rid of one religion. Let's try and get our own in there now. Now then, what are you doing? You've actually backed off after that pillage, which is fine. Let's get you down here as well. There we go, Confucianism. So we've still got two more cities to flip back over. You should be going to... Jerusalem is about the safest route you can do right now. Again, another... Um, let's upgrade you. And we'll move you down here and take out that other camp. I do really want to get uh, a melee ship, though. Although we might have to get a few more battleships, realistically, before we can take on uh, Rio. Because he's got a machine gun in there. Well, he's, he's, the city's just doing a lot of damage, basically. And we've met Poland. Now, are you the one that has lost your capital? That's what we need to find out here. However beautiful the strategy. Right, change of tactics then. Let's get all of these guys back so we can heal up a little bit. Where do you think you're going with that settler? So, we want to repair the encampment. Uh, you've got the right religion there now, so you need to come down to here. And you've got movement left, so let's try and get a flip. Now, what's our capital actually producing? You're working on a factory right now. Still not quite enough gold to get another battleship. Let's have a quick look at the scores there. Domination. So, yes, it's Poland has lost their capital to Arabia. That's fine. Do you have any money, though, Poland? No. I was willing to see if she wanted to buy the jeans or something. You've got a lot of money. But you won't buy the jeans. Fine. Yep, so I think what we're going to do with these units is we're basically just going to um, have them stay around and repair a little bit. And we need to get a few more units so we can uh, pull this off. We want the field cannon. You're going to go in there. So that now means if that ship comes closer, we can attack it. But yeah, their, their city's doing a lot of damage to us already. Haven't seen any of their theological units, which is odd, considering it almost looks like they're going for a win. Oh, you've got a... Um... Oh, please give me the opportunity to capture that. I just don't quite have the movement there, which is such a shame. Well, if he settles it, we can capture that quite easily. I don't know what, you're do what you think you're doing down here. So let's get these guys to heal up. Again, we're going to keep trying trying to spread our religion. I think we need to get another apostle down here. Where's our closest city? I think we'll just grab this apostle, actually. So, you get yourself down here. And we'll get more apostles as and when we need to. Yeah, you've pretty much backed off now, which is fine. You can just stay on to alert. You stay down here. And we'll move on to the next turn. That should have been the end of the video, actually. And I've gone and clicked next turn again, because that's what I do. Yeah, he is moving units in up there, which I don't like. He's still lost his settler, though, so it doesn't really help him. Never criticize a rifleman. Having seen a non so, we don't need to do that. So, bye-bye, settler. And we can still fire. Fire. 
So he's trying to land some units here. It's not going to help him much. Let's go for the civil engineering. Production down here at Ambois. We will go for the workshop. And what do we want here? Settler cost? No. Golden faith from all trade routes. That's actually quite nice. So we're making 170 gold per turn. 202. Could still be a bit better. Yep, you guys are all just going to go to sleep. Now, I did just notice... Oh, flipping mouse pointer keeps getting stuck. So let's go and kill these off. Then hopefully we can clear the camp on the next turn. But the next turn will be on the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Civilization VI as Monty. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.